So today I'm going to be talking about the dangers of not forming your entity completely properly. Uh, and one of the best ways to do that is to use one of these entity bills that forms your entity for like a couple hundred bucks. Uh, so first of all, if you're forming an entity like an LLC or a corporation, it's really important that it's done right. Uh, and that goes beyond just registering it with the state, right? Like. You need all your corporate documents or LLC documents, your operating agreement or your bylaws. All this stuff needs to be done correctly so that you get the full benefit of that entity. If it's not done correctly, you could suffer tax consequences. Uh, the entity could lose its asset protection value. A court could just set it aside, pierce the corporate veil and grab the assets. Basically, like the entity could just not serve the purpose for which you formed it. Um, which winds up costing a lot more than the money you save to form an entity for a couple hundred bucks. Um, you know, I've seen operating agreements that reference like the wrong state. I've seen it where people, where, you know, one of these entity mills that even forgot to change the name on, uh, you know, the people that they had prepared these documents for the time before. Uh, and clients didn't even notice this stuff uh, until it was reviewed like years later. Now, fortunately, you know, in most situations, people don't get sued, you know, nothing happens, they're able to, to fix these documents, but in cases where you don't catch it in time, uh, that's, that's not the case. And today I want to specifically talk about a private letter ruling that came out from the IRS uh, where a LLC that had elected to be taxed as an S corporation lost its S corporation status. Now, for those of you who are in business in the United States, you know that there is a lot of money that can be saved in self-employment tax by using an S corporation. And so a very typical structure is people will form an LLC and then elect with the IRS to have that LLC taxed as an S corporation. As an S corporation, uh, it, the entity needs to be treated as a corporation, uh, as an S corporation for income tax purposes. Now, one of those provisions is that the profits need to be distributed on a pro rata basis to shareholders. Likewise, if the entity is liquidated, the, uh, the assets need to be distributed on a pro rata basis to shareholders. Well, this person had, you know, obviously used an entity mill or, you know, used somebody that didn't really pay attention to their situation, just used, you know, regular old template and operating agreement. Well, what, one of the template provisions in this operating agreement, uh, was actually for an entity that meant to be treated as a partnership because most LLCs are taxed as either disregarded entities or partnerships. And so what this said is that in the event of dissolution, the assets should be distributed according to capital account balance. If there's anything left, then according to, to percentage of ownership, uh, but not pro rata. And so they lost their S corporation status, which probably had a huge negative tax impact on them because they, they were probably saving a lot of money on, on self-employment tax, uh, using that S corporation um, uh, tax benefit, but then when they lost it, they were liable for all that self-employment tax. Uh, and probably if you know this has gone on for many years, the IRS maybe even audited them and assessed these taxes for earlier years. And this is just a simple, I mean, it is a very simple mistake, right? Like uh, somebody just wasn't paying attention. This way it's really important that if you're forming an entity that you sit down with somebody, explain exactly what you're going to be doing with it, and then make sure that that is a knowledgeable professional that's going to form the entity and draft all the corporate documents and everything for your specific purpose. Uh, and sometimes it's not even drafting it for the specific purpose, right? A lot of people do have templates and it's just knowing which template to use. Um, but that knowledge of knowing which template to use, uh, has some value and, and, it's, and it's worth paying for and it's worth having it customized to, to really suit your needs. Don't fall victim to entity mills and people that just template shit out 